Hi, this is Dark Shades and Life Skills topic today is about anger. Now, when you're entering the world of life, whether it's in the home, whether it's at work, wherever it is, you need to be able to be self-controlled. And anger is one of those emotions that shows you've lost control. And when you think about why you get angry, it's normally because someone's either taken you for granted, they've shown no consideration, they've betrayed you, or they've done something to hurt you. So you react instead of thinking rationally whether or not that person is really out to get to you. Some people are, but not everyone is. And sometimes, you know, what you say in anger because you haven't really thought about it and it just spurts out, the other person is always going to believe that what you said you meant, when really you only meant it in that particular moment because that's how you were feeling. It doesn't mean that it overrides everything you think about the other person. It's really important to restrict any kind of anger or issue to what's provoked it. Don't start generalising and, you know, saying that someone's, oh, you're always doing this or you're always doing that or you never do this or you never do that. I know of incidences where a guy has put out the bin like 10 times, but he's probably forgotten the last three times. And his spouse is saying, you never take out the bin. You know, how does that make him feel? It makes him feel as though there's an underlying motive while she's saying that. And then he gets angry because she's being unreasonable. And then it can get out of proportion. Some forms of anger can take on domestic violence because whatever the reason is, whether it's a look, whether it's a slight, whether it's um, the person is once again generalising or the person has said something that the other person doesn't like and the, that, that the person who is say, who they're saying it to can't hack it, and then they lash out and the next thing you know, the anger is turned into domestic abuse. You know, sometimes anger is what causes death because it's been uncontrolled and it's gone to such an extreme. You know, so we have to be careful about our anger. Not everybody that is talking to you or generalising um, or being inconsiderate is out to get you or wants to get you in such a state that you explode. And sometimes the person who feels angry all the time feels as though the world is out to get him. They take things, they take things personally. And that is where um, the, the distortion lies. It is best to kind of, if you do feel um as though anger is coming on and you can usually tell because you can feel it in your gut and you're kind of trying to control it and you're tensing up. Just try to think while all of those emotions are happening, why you're feeling that way. What is it that that person said or did that warrants you getting so out of control? Just try to think and as you're thinking, breathe, breathe in and out four or five times because it will lessen the impact of what you're going to say if you're one of these people that just blurts out stuff without thinking and who lashes out without thinking who f's and blinds without thinking because you know people have lost jobs they break relationships and all sorts because of anger so you know and it, it, it lives are lost so you've got to really um, think about what it is. There's usually an underlying reason why people can't zoom from one to ten and get angry. And it's because they've taken something personally. Some people cannot take criticism or feedback. That's seen as a personal attack. And so they can get angry because of that. Some people get angry because they don't like another person's opinion, even though that person is entitled to give their opinion. So there's that. 
So the best thing, best advice I can give you is not to generalize, um, because that if somebody is prone to anger, that can really tick them off, and um, you can't take back the words you've said. I, I've I've been I've done that many a time. I used to be so tactless, and I used to say some things that were sharp, like a dagger, and went straight to the heart of the matter, and I could never take them back. Not. I didn't, well, I'm not going to say I didn't want to take it back, but if I if I knew what I knew now, I would rephrase it differently so it wasn't so hurtful. So I'm hoping that now I do tend to think, and sometimes it means that I have to stop and um, there's a break, but it's much better that I do that than to just come out with what, it, what exactly I feel. And when you... If you don't say what you feel, it doesn't mean at that moment, it doesn't mean that you're compromising yourself. It doesn't mean you're compromising your values or your principles. It just means that you're making sure it's coming out in a way you want it to come out. Sometimes it's just as well to go away, write out what you feel, exactly how you feel, with all the hostility, with all the venom, and read it and rewrite it and rewrite it and then you can still revisit it you can still go back to that person and say Do you know what the other day when you um spoke to me like that i really felt a b c d and e and i'd really pref i'd really like it well i'm asking you not to speak to me like that again because i don't like it and you could be quite firm but you're not going to have all that barrage of cursing and lashing out that might have come if you hadn't have waited so this is dark shades life skills on anger and that's all for now